Microsoft's newest AI feature will completely change the way we use Excel. Agent Mode can perform complex, multi-step tasks to create and modify your workbooks. It basically does your job for you, and it's absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at how it works. All right, so here we are in Excel, and we're going to have Agent Mode do some work for us. So in order to see Agent Mode, it's currently an add-in through Excel Labs. So once you install that, you'll see the Excel Labs button here, and then this will open the Agent Mode task pane. And this is similar to chatting with Copilot. Here we can just prompt it. I'm going to paste in my prompt. And in this example here, I have this large sheet of data for healthcare uh, clinics, and I want it to create a dashboard with the following charts. So we'll go ahead and hit enter or click here. Agent mode will start working and kind of see this nice little graphic animation here, and it'll get to work to create this dashboard. Okay, so that took about three minutes, and the results are pretty mind blowing. Here we have the patient dashboard, the patient flow dashboard. This is a sheet that was added by agent with a lot of calculations. There's also some input cells here. We can change the year and the monthly goal. And then we have all of these calculations. You can see all of these formulas written here. And then down below, we have the charts. So there's two charts here. They're a little wide. I'd probably make those a little more narrow. And then two charts over here. And again, some calculations on the top. Now, of course, we want to know what changes were made to the workbook. And another mind blowing feature of this is the report that agent mode gives us. So over here on the right side in the task pane, it reports on everything that it did in a very detailed uh, fashion. So you can see right here the assumptions it made before it got started and then the assumptions it's going to use to create the dashboard. It explains what it created all of the dashboards or all of the charts on the dashboard sheet here, the data sources that it used here as well, and all of the formulas. It explains all of the formulas that it added uh, to the sheet. And then down here, the chart bindings. So you know what's plotted right here for each chart, which is great. Format, formatting and layout decisions that it made, along with verifications to tie out the numbers to make sure it's calculating correctly, which is also pretty incredible. And then it gives you some notes and assumptions on how to adjust and edit the sheets if you need to do that. And then error acknowledgement, it did run into an error here with the API and it found a workaround for that. Again, it did all this in three minutes. And then this uh, completeness confirmation, so you can uh, check its work and review it, make sure everything looks good. And if you're wondering if agent mode can create pivot tables, in this example here, I have these three sheets of volunteers. This is all the data I had in the workbook. And I asked agent mode to create a pivot table with a summary of this data. And it did first did the correct uh, step, which is to consolidate all of that data into one single table. And then it created the pivot table on this sheet. Now, this is not the exact layout I was looking for. However, I didn't really specify that layout, but this is fully editable. So I can go into this pivot table here. Maybe I don't want size here. I actually want uh, the year across the top and I want the name in the rows area. And this is the pivot table I'm looking for so I can see which volunteers volunteered in each year. But still pretty incredible that Agent could create this. And if you're curious about this technique, I have a separate video on this and I'll link it up in the description below. So if you're curious as to how Agent Mode works, well, I was too, so I decided to ask it. And it told me that it's using Office JS, which is JavaScript, which means it's just writing code in the background and then running that code. And Office JS is deeply integrated into Excel, so that's why it can use all these features of Excel and make all these changes. At the bottom of this reply, it also talks about safeguards and reliability and how it has a non-destructive approach to the workbook. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download all of this information along with all of the Excel workbooks that I used in this video. And as agent mode is running, you can expand the reasoning here to see all of the activity that it's doing. And the most amazing part about this is how thorough it is with its work. It's not just writing some code and applying it to the workbook here. It's actually reasoning through all of the steps, exploring different alternatives, different solutions or possible features of Excel to use, exploring formatting options to make sure it looks really good. And if it does run into errors, it will also evaluate those errors and fix them. And you can also interact with the workbook while it's working. So if we jump down to the bottom here, we can see it's creating currently creating a new uh, pivot table. 
we can jump over to this sheet here where it's working on that pivot table right now. It also added this holidays sheet here and brought in all of the US holidays. It looked all this up and brought all of this data in here, wrote some formulas over here. So it's doing a lot of work to our workbook. And the amazing part is, is how thorough it is with this work. So this is an old workbook where I had some old VLOOKUPs and other functions, and I asked Agent Mode to modernize the formulas to use XLOOKUP and newer functions. And of course, it went through the entire workbook and did that, it took about four minutes to do that, and gave us this nice report with all of the changes that it made. But one nice feature here is you can use the Show Changes feature. So if you go to the Review tab and click Show Changes, that will uh, open this task pane on the right side, and you can also see all of the changes that Agent Mode made. And I can see right here that it replaced this write function. So I had this write function on this sheet over here to extract the text after this dash, and it replaced it with the new text after function. And in agent's response, it says here that if the workbook is shared with users on older versions of Excel, they might not see the result. So I absolutely love that it's thinking through compatibility and gives us that warning. It also gives us some optional next enhancements down here, which is cool. And of course, it can do those for us. Next, we're gonna to jump to a fun example and have agent mode create a holiday planner. So I have a blank workbook here and I have my prompt where I'm gonna have it create several sheets in this workbook. We'll go ahead and kick that off. So I went and took a quick coffee break and came back five minutes later and I have this workbook here with six sheets added, all nicely formatted with this holiday theme. There's formulas in these sheets, tables. I even noticed in a few of the sheets, there's drop down lists here to just make it easier to do data entry into all of these sheets and even our nice calendar sheet here for planning. Now, of course, agent mode gives us, us instructions over here as well on the right side. It shows what it created and this nice roadmap and guide where everything is and how to use it. So instructions for every single sheet on how to use that sheet along with all of the formulas and explanations of those formulas for the sheets as well. So this is extremely helpful in now learning how to navigate and use this nice holiday planner. So here I asked agent mode to create a cash flow statement based on this data table that I had. And I also asked it to make it dynamic so I could specify the number of months that are displayed. And about three minutes later here, it added this sheet to my workbook with the cash flow statement. Also added a chart down here at the bottom to visualize it. And right here in cell C2, I can change the number of months. Also has data validation here. So it's uh, giving me instructions for this cell. I'm gonna put a six in here and hit enter. As you can see, everything dynamically updates here. And agent mode also down at the bottom here recommends some uh, features or enhancements that we can do in the future, including adding details with these sublines. So it's pretty incredible what it was able to achieve here in just a few minutes. Now, agent mode is by no means perfect yet. When I asked it about its limitations, it gave me a pretty long list of things it can and can't do. Some of those limitations right now are power query and running macros, and it's a pretty interesting uh, conversation here. So again, I'll put a link in the chat where you can read the entire conversation. And I did run into instances where agent mode wasn't able to complete the task. Here it ran for about seven minutes and then gave back this response saying too many iterations. I had it run up to 29 minutes on a task as well. The nice part is, is you can just have it retry uh, again on whatever task you're giving it. But I also think it's really important that as an Excel user, you still have the skills and knowledge of all of these tools and features in Excel to be able to not only understand what it's doing, but also model modify and enhance its work. So I still like to think of this as an assistant that will save us a ton of time and greatly improve our efficiency. And Microsoft just published a blog post that talks about the accuracy of agent mode compared to humans and other solutions. I'll link this up in the description below. Agent mode is currently available on the web version of Excel, but it will be coming to the desktop version. To install it on the home tab, go to add-ins and then search for Excel labs and click the add button. Then the Excel labs button will appear here on the home tab. Clicking that will show a list of features and on agent mode, just click open and that'll jump you into agent mode. And even though this is Excel for the web, of course you can still open and edit the files in the desktop version. I believe you will need a Copilot license for this and I'll put a link in the description to Microsoft's announcement with more information. 
So this is by far the best implementation of AI that I've seen in Excel yet. There's no doubt that agent mode will change how we use Excel, and it might be the beginning of an end of an era where we spend so much of our time creating and modifying the spreadsheet. And honestly, I have mixed feelings about this. Agent mode will definitely save us a ton of time, which is great, but I do find a lot of joy in doing creative problem solving with Excel. So I'm also a bit sad that AI replaces some of that critical thinking, but I'm trying to remain optimistic that this does allow more time for creative thinking. But I'm curious to know your thoughts on this, so leave a comment below and let us know. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And if you wanna see other ways to automate Excel, then check out this video next. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.